and Mary meet. Uh, for those of you who haven't seen one of my videos before, my name is Lagatha Scarlet. I'm one of the leaders in the Hatchling Clan Amino Group and Unicoven, which is also a community um, on the Amino app. I have posted an altar tour video that was just a quick overview of my first permanent altar and as a follow-up to that I'm posting two short videos that go into a little more detail about the different sections of my altar. So um, if you haven't checked it out before you can check out the full video of um, the full permanent altar by looking in the links in the description of this video if you're on YouTube or if you're checking this out via a post on the Hatchling Clan or Unicoven, um, check the post and I'll make sure to include links to all of the video sections. This video is going to be about the um, nature magic based section of my altar. So if that's something you're interested in, stick with us. This is actually a water fountain that my granddad used to have in his living room. Um, I saw a black bear in nature the first time I ever did rustic style camping and it was just a really powerful experience knowing that there was something that could technically eat you <laughs> if it wanted, just kind of cruising by your campsite. Um, and I just find the whole relationship between black bears and campers just really interesting in a sort of respect the laws of nature kind of way. I also have a little um, fountain to the left. I also have a little wooden mushroom that I got at the Renaissance Fair. I feel extremely connected to otters. And to the right is a squirrel. The squirrels at my college were kind of an inside joke. I just keep the squirrel on my altar as a reminder of the positive energy um, that I had related to those experiences. Now, when I first set my permanent altar up, I used to keep all of my crystals out like this too. The funny thing about a lot of the tumbled crystals that I have um, are that I didn't get them from a metaphysical shop or from anywhere like that. I actually got them when I was at the beach at a souvenir shop because they had this big plastic chest where you could fill a little fake velvet bag up for three or four dollars with the different crystals and rocks from the chest. And it was really a good find because I was with my parents and couldn't buy anything that was, you know, really witchy or pagan in nature. That is actually um, the first piece of crystal jewelry that I ever owned and is still actually the only piece of crystal jewelry that I own. It is a piece of raw amethyst that's wire wrapped into a pendant that has a scarab charm on the front across the stone and then it has a little cat that's dangling from it. And I actually commissioned that piece from a store on Etsy called Soulfire Sundries and I'll actually link it in the description of this video. I hope you enjoyed the little tour of the nature and animal magic side of my altar. Um, I'm making some major changes to my altar setup because I'm going to be relocating my things to a different sacred space. Um, but I wanted to make sure that I kind of paid homage to this original altar in these videos. And who knows, maybe somebody will find the setup helpful. So if you're interested um, in seeing the other sections of my altar, which would be about cat magic and a tiny craft section, um, check the links in the description of this video or the rest of the post on the Hatchling Clan or Unicoven. You'll also should theoretically be able to see little cards at the end of this video that will pop up over my face that say, hey, check out these videos um, if you're looking at this through YouTube.